Everyone's talking about AI email assistants lately, and honestly, I get why. I've been drowning in my inbox for months. So I decided to test two of the most talked about options, Mail Maestro and Mail Butler. After spending weeks with both, I've got some thoughts. And spoiler alert, one of these surprised me way more than the other. Let me start with Mail Maestro, because this is where things get interesting. This tool is purely focused on AI-powered email writing. And I mean purely. When you install it in Outlook or Gmail, you're essentially adding a writing assistant that lives right inside your Compose window. The whole pitch is that you can write better emails faster. And honestly, that's exactly what it does. Here's what caught my attention right away. Instead of trying to be everything to everyone, Mailmeister does one thing really well. You hit their AI button, give it a prompt like, write a follow-up email about the project deadline, and it generates surprisingly natural-sounding emails. I'm talking emails that actually sound like something I would write, not like a robot trying to be professional. The AI quality is genuinely impressive. I've used other email AI tools that spit out these generic, corporate-sounding messages that make you cringe. Mailmeister's outputs feel conversational and authentic. It picks up on context from your email thread, understands tone, and can adjust for different audiences. When I'm writing to my team versus a client, it gets the difference without me having to explain it. But here's where it gets weird. For a tool that's all about AI writing, the pricing is surprisingly reasonable. The professional plan runs $15 per month, which honestly shocked me. Most AI writing tools are charging way more than that, especially ones that integrate this seamlessly with your email client. The free plan is actually usable too, which is rare these days. You get limited AI generations per month, but it's enough to test whether this fits your workflow. I know people who've been using the free version for months and haven't needed to upgrade. Now, let's talk about what frustrated me. Mail Maestro is laser focused on writing, which means it doesn't do email tracking, scheduling, or any of the other productivity features you might expect. If you're looking for an all-in-one email management solution, this isn't it. It's purely about making your writing better and faster. The integration is smooth, I'll give them that. It works natively in Outlook and Gmail without feeling clunky or slow. But if you use other email clients, you're out of luck. It's pretty much Gmail and Outlook or nothing. Most users seem to love the writing quality, but the biggest complaint I keep seeing is that people want more features. Email tracking, templates, signature management, all that stuff. Mail Maestro just doesn't do it. And that's intentional, but it leaves some people wanting more. My honest take? If you spend a lot of time crafting emails and want to write them faster without sacrificing quality, Mail Maestro is brilliant. It's like having a writing assistant who actually understands how you communicate. But if you need a full email productivity suite, you'll probably need something else alongside it. Now let's talk about Mail Butler, and this is where things get completely different. Mail Butler is trying to be your entire email productivity command center. And in a lot of ways, it succeeds. We're talking email tracking, scheduling, templates, task management, professional signatures, and yes, they've got AI writing too. When you first install Mail Butler, it's almost overwhelming how many features they've packed into this thing. Email tracking shows you when people open your messages, read receipts, tell you when they've actually read them, and you can schedule emails to send later. The template system lets you save common email formats, and the task management turns your emails into actionable items. The AI Assistant is decent, though it's not quite as polished as Mail Maestro's. It'll help you write emails, but the output feels a bit more generic. Still useful, just not as impressive from a pure writing standpoint. Where Mail Butler shines is giving you all these other tools to actually manage your email workflow. Here's what surprised me about the pricing. Mail Butler starts at around $9 per month for the basic plan. But if you want all the features, you're looking at closer to $33 monthly. That's significantly more expensive than Mail Maestro, but you're getting way more features. The free version exists, but it's pretty limited. You get 30 actions per month for the premium features, which sounds like a lot until you realize that email tracking, scheduling, and AI assistance all count toward that limit. You'll hit 30 pretty quickly if you're actively using the tool. Let's be real about what works and what doesn't. The email tracking is solid and gives you insights that can actually change how you follow up with people. The scheduling feature is genuinely helpful if you write emails at weird hours but don't want to send them immediately. And the signature management is way better than what most email clients offer natively. But here's where Mail Butler gets frustrating. 
With so many features, the interface can feel cluttered. It takes time to figure out what you actually need versus what's just feature bloat. Some users love having all these options. Others find it overwhelming and end up using maybe half of what they're paying for. The other issue is reliability. I've had the tracking not work occasionally, and the AI assistant sometimes feels slower than mail maestros. When you're paying premium prices, these little hiccups are more annoying. Most users appreciate the comprehensive feature set, but the common complaint is complexity. People love the idea of having everything in one place, but actually configuring and using all these features takes work. It's not as plug and play as Mail Maestro. My take on Mail Butler, if you want a Swiss Army knife for email and don't mind paying for it, this could be perfect. The feature set is genuinely impressive, and when everything works, it can transform how you handle email. But if you just want better email writing without all the extra complexity, it might be overkill. So here's my bottom line. These tools are solving completely different problems. Mail Maestro is for people who write a lot of emails and want to do it better and faster. It's focused, polished, and reasonably priced. Mail Butler is for people who want to completely overhaul their email workflow with tracking, scheduling, management tools, and yes, some AI writing help too. If I had to pick for most people, Mail Maestro wins on simplicity and value. $15 gets you genuinely impressive AI writing assistance without overwhelming you with features you might not need. But if you're someone who lives in email all day and wants every possible productivity tool, Mail Butler's comprehensive approach might justify the higher price. The real question is, what kind of email user you are? Do you just want to write better emails, or do you want to completely transform how you manage your inbox? That answer should make your decision pretty clear. Here's something else worth considering, though. Both tools have learning curves, but they're completely different types of learning. With Mail Maestro, you're learning how to prompt the AI effectively. It takes a few days to figure out how to give it the right context to generate emails that sound like you. Once you get that down, it's incredibly fast. Mail Butler's learning curve is more about feature discovery. You'll spend the first week just figuring out what all the buttons do and which features actually matter for your workflow. It's not hard, just time consuming. I actually recommend starting with just email tracking and gradually adding other features as you get comfortable. One thing that's been bugging me about the email productivity space lately is how everyone's trying to solve every problem at once. Mail Maestro's focused approach feels refreshing in comparison. They're not trying to be your CRM, your task manager, and your email client all at once. They just want to help you write better emails. And honestly, sometimes that narrow focus produces better results. That said, if you're already using multiple tools for email tracking, scheduling, and template management, Mail Butler could actually save you money by consolidating everything. The math works out differently for everyone, but I've talked to users who replaced three separate tools with Mail Butler and came out ahead financially. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the most talked about tools side by side every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the latest comparison here or dive into the playlist if you're still deciding. But I'm curious, which one would you pick? Got a favorite? Drop it in the comments. I'm always curious what real users think.